Okay guys, it was time for me to um, redo my toilet jug, my uh, pee jug, it was time for a new one. I had it in this Dollar Tree one and I covered it with um, black duct tape so people couldn't see the urine, but um, some liquid got in the gaps of the duct tape so I'm going to let it go. And I've cleaned out my bucket and um, with um, I use baking soda and vinegar to clean my toilet out every day and I clean my funnel out with it and everything but I wanted to give an up-close picture of um, my toilet system because some people are still confused about how I separate so this is what I did it's just a five gallon bucket and I used two zip ties on this side to go through the existing hole of the handle and two zip ties on this side to go through the existing hole and then I then took those zip ties together two on this side two on this side and put just put a gear tie in between to give me a, a line in the middle so that is the line that I used to drape the bag over for the solids. So I just use any bag. Whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I just buy 13 gallon bags <clears throat> usually. And for the most part, I tie a whole uh, tie a um, knot in the bottom. Because sometimes bags can be thin on the bottom, so I'll tie a knot on the bottom. So then that gets draped in the back. And then it gets put kind of under, tucked under the zip tie and the um, gear tie. And then it just sits in the back like that. So this is the bag for solids. And there it is for solids. Okay. So there's the bag as it is for solids. So you've got your back half for your solids. Okay, and I usually take a clean paper towel fold it in half and sit it in there just in case any liquid dribbles it kind of has uh, something to absorb and then you just take whatever container you're going to use as long as your container and funnel combination aren't as high as the lip then you're good so put whatever container you're going to put in there for catching the um, liquids in there and then put your funnel in as long as it's not higher than this lip, you're fine. And so then that's my liquids container. Okay, here's the top. I'm gonna clean it. I clean this every day with vinegar. <clears throat> and FYI, I have ordered online a 100 thing of rags a hundred pack of rags that I'm going to cut up and make paper towels and toilet paper out of and I'm going to be going paperless as much as I can anyway so I clean the inside don't forget to clean this part of your toilet lid a lot of people forget to do that and the seat you want to clean all of it you don't want to just clean the part you sit on you want to clean the back part you want to clean down in the hinge just clean it all that's the best way to prevent germs from building up okay so once the seat is clean you just line it up if you notice this seat it has a little bit of a narrower end right here make sure that is right at the beginning of your funnel line that up with your funnel that's you're going to be your front and then because you have zip ties on the side it's a little bit hard you kind of have to forcefully there it is. And it locks into place. So when you sit to pee, you're peeing in the front, pooping in the back. And with the funnel, if you have one like mine, it has that little tip. You can stick that where the seat is if you want so it doesn't shimmy around, move around. 
you can stick that end under that little lip. It won't go completely under because of the rim it locks into place. Or if you prefer, you can stick it under your um stick it right underneath your gear tie here. You know, the gear tie has a piece of wire in it, so you can manipulate it, you can move it around. And you can just stick it right under the gear tie. Use the gear tie to help keep it in place so it doesn't move while you're sitting on the toilet. So usually when I open this up to use it, I just push my finger here, make sure that funnel's in place before I sit down. Just make sure it's tucked under the lip so that anything hitting goes dribbles right in there. And that's it. That's how I separate to uh, prevent smells. And so every morning I take this black seat off and dump the urine, um, kind of sprinkle it out, dump the urine, don't dump it in one big pile, kind of sprinkle it out and uh, around a bush or in the rocks or something. And then I, I use my baking soda and my vinegar to clean the urine jug out and the funnel. Always clean the urine jug in the funnel every single day. Yeah, that's it for the toilet. Simple as that.